Okay, then what we're going to do is you're going to see AM error over here on the side. We'll come here, double click. We'll add in the frequency for whatever it is. So I'm just making something up. I don't know if this is even a local one. You'll go add, you'll name it, you know, um, we'll call it ground. And we can go OK. You can add as many as you want. And then the other thing I tell people to do is come here. Um, memory mode for, for, for the radio. And then key function. Make sure you set something for AM, FM. So you can enable it over the, uh, so you can enable it. <clears throat> uh, from your from your handheld manually it's just like fm when you turn it on it'll start going through the stations you can set it to vfo a or b as well and uh go from there so it, it's it's quite easy it's a it's, it's a lot of fun you can listen to the local airports i don't have it on this one because this is the pro model right here the plus is in the car sorry can't bring it in to show you uh take too long right now but uh, maybe in the future here, I'll bring it out so we could do a little episode on that and show it working actually out here and everything uh, and how to go through that. But for right now, that's the basic setup on how to actually set it up. Just make sure they're here in your memories, up in your CPS, under error, and you enable the settings and uh, then just have the button so you can enable it on your radio.